Hi, this is Pierre Vdekut working on Planeting Technologies. Um, how the status, your present status is is working. Um, so you can find your present status in your personal contact picture here. Here I'm available and you can modify manually if you want to the status here. If you select busy, we'll switch to busy, and but people will still be able to notify you and you will still receive pop-up from them. If you select do not disturb, then people can send the message, but you won't receive a notification, you won't receive a, a pop-up. And you can also change, for example, to be to appear offline. So then um, they won't be able, uh, you won't receive anything anytime unless you're switched back to available. So that's uh, how you change manually your status. Um, but also the status is evolving depending on what you're doing. So for example, if I receive a call, let's try to receive a call. The status which will switch as soon as I take the call. So you can see that up oh, it changed to in a call. Also, when you go into a meeting, it will change to the status automatically, depending on how many people are in the meeting. But it will be either in a call, if I'm alone, or in a meeting. So once again, it's switching by itself. and it's switching back by itself. And why am I available? Because if when you look at my Outlook calendar, you can see that right now I'm available. I'm gonna have a meeting outside. So I, s I set a meeting saying I was outside uh, at nine forty. So I'm gonna change it to nine 35, so you'll see the difference in my, so it's 9.34, I'm still available, and when it will switch to 9.35, the status must change. So let's wait uh, a few seconds to see the status changing uh, based on my calendar. Um, so it's 9.35, it will switch. So what does it say? It says, I'm available, but I'm out of office. So it takes the information coming from Outlook, because in Outlook, when I s set my, my appointment here, um, I said it, it was out of office. So it's really rich um, how the status is. It's not. It's mo it's more than what you think it is. Actually, when you look at the manual status, there's some granularity depending on your calendar and depending on the events like receiving a call. But also when you're in meeting. So let's start a new meeting now. So again, it says in a call, still out of office based on my calendar. But imagine you want to share your screen. So let's share um, my, my screen. So let's share this, this screen, my second screen. Um, so it, it's sharing. And now my status is what? Presenting. 
I'm presenting, I'm out of office. Um, and actually, when you're presenting, it's like to be in a do not disturb, we cannot see it clearly, but the sign is do not disturb. Why is, is it do not disturb? Because when I share my screen, I don't want people to see the notification. So it switched to do not disturb, so I cannot receive any pop-up, even if somebody is notifying me. Um, now I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And I will switch back to in a call. I'm not too nervous to be, I'm busy. Yeah, I'm in a call, busy. So people can send me notifications so I can multitask. I don't recommend that, but you can do that. Um, so that's how it's switching from different mode. Um, I'm gonna leave the call and I'm going back to available, but still out of office. So the status will follow you depending on your activities and you don't really have to change the status yourself. It will do it automatically. A uh, thing to know is maybe sometimes you're working in an environment when you really need to be uh, to receive notification, uh, very important notification for very important people. So you have a, the ability in your settings to change who can bypass. You do not disturb. So it's in the settings in privacy, you can manage pri pri priority access. So you, you will be able to receive notification even if you're not do not disturb, so you select who can bypass uh, this. So you type the name and you add it in the list. And um, that way they will be able to uh, notify you and you will see a pop-up window saying they're notifying you. But be aware if you're sharing your screen, then people will see that. So that's a, a thing to know. You can especially for, um, I don't know, for example, for a VP with a, or exec, his or his exec assistant, he might want to have a, uh, to let them bypass the do not disturb if there's an urgent call or something very important. Um, so that was um, a quick tour of the presence the presence is everywhere, so if you're going into your uh, your brother, um, you'll see the presence on every. You see, Matt is available. Uh, Dan is away. Um, so every time you have access to a contact, an identity, you will see the presence showing even in the browser or in an email in Outlook. If you go to an email, um, I can see my presence here. Uh, if I go to Andy, I can see his presence. So up here is a way. Um, so, the status, the present status is really accessible from anywhere in the platform. I think even in a, in a document, let's try to see that, I'm not sure, but here, yeah. Um, maybe not, I thought, I thought you had access, maybe when people are opening a document, not mine, Mine is not visible, but I think when somebody is opening a document, you can see the the person opening the document, and you can see the their status here. So really, it's it's following you everywhere, 
and you're aware of what is the status. So um, maybe to finish a recommendation or a comment is um, to me. So you can, uh, let's, let's go in a chat, for example. Uh, in the chat, you can um, start a conversation, even if the person is in whatever status he is, you can start the conversation because it's asynchronous. You might think it's only synchronous, but no, it's asynchronous. So you can uh, start to discuss with somebody and it will, as soon as he comes back, even if he's in do not disturb mode or if he's in a uh, pre offline, uh, or because he, or if he's disconnected, so he will be offline, you can send a message and they will receive it just like an email at one point when they reconnect. Um, so that's one point. The other point is when you, my recommendation is when you see a status, um, so you see here all the status of the people I recently chat with, um, I can see quickly that Lisa is presenting, Tiffany is available. I don't know if I see other people here. Jim is in a call, Bobby's in a call, etc. So to to finish this, uh, just one, two, two last things. Uh, when you change your out of uh, at our office in Outlook. So let me bring my Outlook here. Um, so if I turn on um, my out of office, what's going to happen? with my status. So uh, eventually Tim's gonna catch that and you'll see that I'm available, but it will say something else that I am at the same time out of office. So waiting f uh, for Teams to catch up with Outlook. I just want to give some best practice around the status. So to me, it's like the the, door, the, the concept of a door in, in a room. When your door is wide open, it means you're available. So can people can come in and discuss with you. When the door is closed, it means you're busy. So sh people should knock before. That means, for example, they the, when you chat with somebody who's busy, you can chat, but I say, I know you're busy, can you come back to me when you're available, or can I disturb you? And when it's do not disturb, the status is do not disturb, to me it means the door is locked. So probably you shouldn't, you know, try to get in or, or <laughs> for, for sure not to get in or even knock. But in the Teams world, you can still send a message because the person won't see the message, you won't disturb the person, but um, be gentle, tell them you saw the status and whenever, whenever they're available, you can ask them to, to come back to you. Um, and you can set the, the, the feature, uh, you know, um, to be notified when available. Um, also, the the status. I forgot to talk about that. You can set a status here for duration. So I'm not sure if what are the use case for that. But if you want to manually, not based on your Apple calendar, if you want to set a status. Um, for a period of time, you can select the status, you can select the period of time you want that to be, even yeah, there's custom setting here. You, you can also 
do that pretty easily. So apparently my out of office status didn't catch yet. So um, it probably takes some time. Maybe I'll try to refresh just to see if it works after a while, but it will come eventually. We'll see, you will see um, that you're available, but you're out of office.